so hello everyone welcome to my channel so this vlog uh, i'll give you a brief about the bridge what uh, the brains of the ship that is the bridge looks like we call it i usually call it like the bridge as the brain of the ship and the engine room as the heart of the ship so it, i'll give you a very small brief uh, tour of the bridge a little bit about the equipments what what thing does and what is the layout So this is from where we enter and welcome to the bridge. So basically uh, we can say that the bridge has divided into three parts. That is the wheelhouse, this is the chart table, chart area, chart room and that side is the radio room. So we'll start from this panel. Uh, for your understanding I'll be showing this panel in four parts. Uh, so start with this one. Uh, this is the lights panel basically over here we have the navigational lights like these are the sailing lights which we use while sailing and these are the anchor lights right now we are at anchor so anchor lights are on these are all the uh, switches for uh, deck lights all the lights on deck and in accommodation outside area are controlled from here these are the christmas tree lights then this is the master clock ship's master clock uh, all the ships and clocks are connected to the system if i want to adjust the time so I'll just adjust it from here, I'll just press, suppose I want to add uh, 20 minutes, I want to increase, I'll just press 20. Okay, so like this, minus 20 I have to go and then I'll just have to press enter and all the clocks on the ship will be synchronized according to that. These are the various alarm panels, this is the fire and bench from starting switch. Okay, now going on to the next panel, this is the ship's log, this is uh, Doppler's log, it shows us the speed through water and the distance covered by us. Then this is uh, the VDR alarm panel, uh, VDR is like uh, the black box which we have in aeroplanes, we have something like that called the VDR, voice data recorder on ship, this is the alarm panel for that. Now this is the steering gear motor control panel, we have uh, two number of steering motors on ship, so number one and number two right now, number one is running. So pretty much easy operation, start and stop from here, just press start to stop, you press stop okay. and if anything goes off, it gives us an alarm, this panel gives us an alarm, for example, like this, a video and audio alarm will be there, same will be there in lights also, we have two sets of each lights, so if any light goes off, any bulb blows, so the same video and audio alarm will be there for this. Then this is the general emergency alarm system, this one. Uh, right now it is in off position, manual if I want to sound an alarm like see we have also put a stick over here, general alarm ke liye kya hai or fire alarm ke liye, so we operate it this way. These are the emergency stops for ventilation for accommodation, this is for engine room, fire control point, this is uh, the fire uh, dis detection panel in accommodation and engine room, okay, whenever there is a fire or something the sensors which are fixed all around the accommodation and engine room they sense it and then the alarm comes on so this is the echo sounder which shows us the depth of the sea right now it has been set to ukc matlab under keel, under keel clearance we have i have around 4.9 meters of water below my keel that is uh, the depth of the water this is another firefighting equipment system this is hyperme system which is fixed in the engine room same, these are also alarms for hypermes system. So that is pretty much about this panel. Moving on, this is the radio room. Nowadays not used pretty much. Olden time, we have some radio equipment used to be there. Radio officer was there, used to operate these equipment. Now we just have a PC connected to the internet, Fleet 77 system. Where it is, we have the Fleet 77 system, broadband. Okay. And... Uh, this gives us uh, access to telephone and also to uh, internet this is the one which we use for communication this is the public address system this is uh, the navigation locker we have our fireman suits scaba set uh, pyrotechnics lta everything inside okay. uh, these alminas we have flags like in this i have uh, flags of all the countries whichever country we are visiting we just put that flag up this is called pigeon hole 
And similar like this we have uh, here also. Uh, these are all flags for Alpha Bravo like that. And coffee table, fridge, then this is uh, GMDSS communication panel. GMDSS is called uh, Global Maritime Distress Safety System. In case of any distress or something, we use all this system. But this system is connected to satellite, nowhere related to any other. Like this is an MHF system, MFHF radio transponder for communication and for distress purpose use. And these are SAT1, SAT C, this is EGC. So all the messages uh, related to suppose uh, this is an in this EGC enhanced uh, group calling. All these messages related to weather, any construction work going on, any type of warning is there that comes in this so we similarly we take the printout and we put it here like this navigational warnings are there so whatever it is we highlight so if something is not in the route we still put it if it is important we just mark it not in our route okay. then this is uh, the navtex navigational telex similarly it is uh, it works same as the EGC, it also shows us various navigational warnings like uh, this we received on 10th. We are right now at anchor in Persian Gulf, Iran. So issued by Iran, this is a message forecast for another 12 hours, Khoramshar area. It shows us all uh, the details of the weather, what all is going on around us. So this is how we get our, we avoid ourselves from uh, storms and all and some rough weather. So moving on to the wheelhouse, this is the wheelhouse now. Now olden times they used to be charts, now we don't have charts, we have Agdis. Agdis is electronic chart display information system. So it is pretty much like Google Maps but much much more detailed version of it. We have a lot of things, the voyage, the depth of the sea, any, any, everything which is around it is shown here. So this is our vessel at anchor right now, these are other vessels nearby. Okay. Moving on, this is the engine control panel, uh, while maneuvering we control the engines from this place. This is the alarm panel for this, if there is any alarm related to the main engine that comes here, all types of alarms and everything it comes here. Then the, the, this is the maneuvering position control. Right now the maneuvering is with control room. When sailing, we take it in the wheelhouse. We put it in wheelhouse. Then we have the controls of the engine. The engine room does not. Then we use this helm or telegraph. And this telegraph is used like NF is navigational full, full, half ahead, slow ahead, dead slow ahead, stop engines, same with the stern. So if I put this dead slow ahead, the ship will move in dead slow ahead. Dead slow, we use these terms, these standard terms on ship, like dead slow head is RPM 32 and the speed would be in ballast 5.8 and in loaded condition it would be 5.3 knots. Okay, so these are also some uh, controls for main engine, in case of rough sea we have to use these controls, slow down, something technical, let's not get into that. And this is the dimmer panel for order indicator, whatever order we are giving, the same order is dip displayed over there. So that we can see in case we are outside, maneuvering time we are outside on the wings or and so we can see from outside what is going on, which what is the order we have given. So these are the various dim, dimmer panels in night time uh, to dim the lights of all these gauges fitted up. These are for uh, the two on the port side, extreme port side of a wind, then the speed clock, then clanometer, radar angle indicator, RPM indicator and the ship's clock. Okay, these are the dimmer control panels for that. Same engine control air and shaft indicator. And then this is uh, the alarm extension panel in case the engine is under uh, UMS. So whichever is the duty engineer that light whisk will come. And if in any alarm is there, so that alarm will be indicated. Okay. And uh, now these are the phones for internal communication in the bridge. Okay, so this is a battery phone. This battery phone is like olden time which we used to have. This is like if you make a call, want to make a call, you just rotate the knob, like this alarm will be there. And then pick up the phone and talk. While talking also you have to rotate it so that charge is generated. And this is the intercom for ship. Uh, to call anybody, if you want to call anybody, we have all the telephone numbers written. We'll just pick up and dial the number and that will connect to that person's cabin. Then this is the VHF number one.
for communication with port control, local communication with near or side vessels. Okay, and uh, this is the vessel controls, fog on and all. Steering light forward may hai. In case we want to use it, we just switch it on from here. Abhi din mein we won't be able to see it, so no point switching it on. This is the magnetic compass light. So the magnetic compass is mounted up on the monkey island. It is the value dis is displayed by this mirror. You see the value? That is the magnetic compass heading right now. Okay. So this is the gyro compass, the main device which we use for navigation, which shows us the true direction. Gyro compass and autopilot system. Once we are in open sea, we use this autopilot system. We just put the ship on auto, whatever course you want to do. Suppose you want to do 205, 206. So I'll put, I'll select 206 from here. The ship will steer 206 now. To access that system, we have two number of uh, autopilot system, number one and number two. Right now, see number one is selected. We select it from here. And the steering is in hand right now. If you want to put in auto, we will just put the auto auto like this. And the steering will be in auto. Okay. And NFU mode, another mode is there, non follow up mode. This is for NFU. Stick. Now, this small steering wheel is the steering of ship. This steering imparts this 90,000 tonner mass of 90,000 ton weight. This small steering controls that. Okay. So, these are the radars number one and number two. We have switched off number one right now, giving it some rest. So uh, these are the targets, the other vessels are tanker. This is how we call them targets. These are displayed on the PPI. So these are called targets. And this is number two act this. That is the master. This one is slave. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that is pretty much about the equipments. Uh, GPS are left. We have uh, two sets of uh, gyro uh, GPS. This is GPS one, this is GPS two and AIS automatic identification system this is the AIS that is all about the equipments on bridge pretty much right now we are a tanker see that that vessel is there if you can see this vessel this vessel is displayed in the radar see this one this is this vessel okay this is how the radar shows us the target birthing news is already there let's see when we are supposed to birth okay so this is vhf number two and uh, another thing this is water uh, ingress alarm panel in case when the holes are empty there is no cargo in that we are in ballast voyage in case water comes inside any of the holes then there will be alarm this unit will tell us that the flooding has been there one is pre alarm one is main alarm uh, it will sound something like this orange light for pre red for main okay when this light comes we have to just look into the uh, holes what is going on if there has been breach we met an accident or something this is the repeater for gyro compass midship we have two more port and starboard side okay and uh, yeah that is pretty much all about the bridge let me just show you the sensors once again this is the rpm indicator what uh, rpm the engines are on this is the rudder indicator rudder angle indicator what order we have given on the rudder clinometer this shows the list of the ship what is the list this is the log speed log connected to doppler this shows us the wind speed what is wind speed and this shows us the direction of the wind this shows us both true and relative i'll show you use this switch now it is showing relative so you see that carefully now it has changed you see the only five minutes five minutes i need my engine is okay so this is how we change to true and relative yeah that is pretty much about the bridge Uh, that was a brief about the bridge in very very short I showed you all the equipments which are around which we use for navigation how it happens when we are sailing I'll make another video to show what goes around what actually happens when we are sailing uh, how what we are supposed to do as a duty officer what I'm supposed to do our watch is carried out 
of how the equipment functions, how the steering functions, how the engine auto indicator functions. So if you like the video, please do like, share, comment and do subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want to know some other things, if you want to make me, if you want me to make a video on some other stuff which you want to know, you can please uh, drop down the same in the comment section. So that would be all. See you till next time. Bye bye. Jai Ram Ji ki.